Hello guys, my name is Philip Pons and I'm reviewing the Sony Xperia Z2 for a sex. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe our channel as well. And see you guys in uk.webuy.com. Sony has been improving their devices through the years, since TVs, cameras and now a big step for the smartphones. They have been showing they are able to reach the top of the market and fight for the first position against the big fishes. Although this Xperia Z2 is not perfect, it has some features that envy any flagship user. In the middle of so many competition, is this Xperia Z2 ready to compete against the big fishes? Let's find out. Let's talk about his heart, we will find a Snapdragon 801 with 2.3GB CPU and 3GB of RAM. And just these little numbers will make your phone faster and smoother, doesn't matter how many apps are open, this smartphone will never let you down. Internal memory of 16GB is not too much indeed, but you can always extend that for 128GB by microSD card. The display is just amazing, with 1080x9020 pixels and 5.2 inch display with 424 ppi pixels per inch, this screen is definitely one of the best screens I have ever seen. You can actually see the difference between the Xperia Z2 screen and the LG G2. The colors are more saturated and in some way it seems like the screen is more alive. The receive calls in Vodafone UK, it is quite good. And the guys on the other side of the line rate this call 10 out of 10. So it's pretty amazing. Sony has done a fantastic job with the design and build of Z2. The tempered glass back looks like a bigger iPhone 4S and the front panel is a premium designer. The aluminum chassis make the handset extremely sturdy and a few knocks won't really hurt very much. The rear camera will give us 20 megapixels and it will make your pictures professional and good looking. The front face camera just 2 megapixels but it will make your selfies really good for your Instagram. The 4K video quality is tricky. You have a great image, that's the fact, but in the other hand, the phone will be overheat in 10 minutes and you just crash down and close up your camera app. So basically, you have a really good camera for 10 minutes, no longer than that. You can always shoot your video in HD mode, but where's the fun in that? Auto focus on the video mode, it is really good as well. So you have no problems at all with the camera unless you want to record a video with more than 10 minutes. On the left side is where you introduce your SIM card and your charge on the right side your micro SD card. In my opinion these devices have two problems. One it's the overheat when you want to use the camera. The other one is the fingerprints on the screen. Uh, it's just impossible to have five minutes without cleaning the screen. I'm that kind of guy who likes to be the screen really clean. So in here you can see the screen clean and five minutes later the screen will look like this. And last but not least, if you're the kind of guy who likes to take a shower with your phone, but you can't, well, now you can. The water and dust proof make this phone more useful for your holidays and hobbies. The Sony UI is interactive, simple and easy to learn or understand. It is quite average and regular Android and it comes with some applications that just Sony provides like for example the track ID. It comes with Android 4.4.2 KitKat 
out of the box and will be upgradable for the 4.4.3. sum up guys, don't be afraid to spend your money on this device, it is really good phone uh, and should be taken serious as a flagship at least for two more years. Was great having you here and see you in the next video.